Hello and welcome to our complete series. Well, I'm actually out and about looking for Equus because these missions are just driving me nuts. There's Bulldog Fetch and Maywing Poach. Now, you can make your life a bit easier by using rare flowers to attract uh, those to you, especially like the, the Maywings. The only trouble is trying to trank them quickly enough. That's the that's the main problem I'm finding. I mean, I've, I've been riding around on a, like a, a Rex, for example, and it can take all the hits and everything. It doesn't have much of a problem, but it's trying to trank them quickly enough. It's just, yeah, I'm really struggling to do that. I mean, I've been trying things like the Tech Bow, uh, Trank Darts with a pretty good Ascendant uh, Long Neck. I just can't seem to knock things out quickly enough to, to do it. So I want to try a different strategy, which is to, to actually knock them out with an Equus. Now, I must admit, they were, they were quite interesting when they first came out. Um, like early game, it's a, it's a very useful creature to have. Especially because the fact that they, they make taming easy, but of course now, I mean, now we've got things like the, the net projectile. But since the purpose of those missions is specifically to knock things out, I mean, that that could be useful. So I'm I'm going to be looking around to see if I can find them. I mean, these are our Equus on this map. So, I mean, they select the sacrifice some of the health to give you more damage, and it's the damage that you want to get more torpor. Uh, now, the only trouble is you're going to be up against some pretty nasty beasties doing those missions so you'll have to be able to yeah take the take the knocks basically so I'll need a decent saddle but first things first I need to actually find some and there are some on this map as I say there's the R variant so I, I do know they exist it's just a case of actually finding them um ah no actually, actually that, ah, ha, 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 yeah, and I keep forgetting. I'm using S plus, and one of the things I can do is take advantage of the scanner. <laughs> so let's try that then. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Okay, that that could be interesting. That's. That's the new Carcaro, what Carcarodontosaurus? Carcarodontosaurus. Carcarodontosaurus. Okay, it's a bit of a bit of a mouthful, but hmm, okay, that that could be an interesting uh, one to check out. But I really need to find Equus. That's I need to stay on track because this this is just taking me forever. So let's stick with it. Let's stick with the plot. Right. So. The R Equus is what we want to find. So, uh, 150s, there's two on the map. I was 145. What I, what I tend to find, for some reason, not always, but usually the 150s aren't as good as you'd like to think they would be. And the plan is, I want to get some Equus. I want to tame a few of them. And you've got to, you know, play that rodeo game, essentially, which means I need the carrots, but... Yeah, the, the trouble is usually the high level ones aren't necessarily the best ones. So I want to get a bit of a mixture of uh, of these. And then do some breeding, because if I get the imprinting, we'll get the buffs. Basically it's a case of, they get better stats, and you also get a much better buff when you're riding them, you know, for being able to do damage and be able to take damage. So, yeah, I think we'll have a bit of a look-see. So let's see, so where are we at on the map? Um, we're about 4290. You know what, I don't want an Arc Betzel, I want an R Equus. All right, so there should be one fairly close at 44, roughly 4490. All right, okay, fair enough. Except it's dark. 4490, that means I need to be heading in. that direction. Yeah, so it should be. 
Unless it's up there. I really could have done with the, the tech suit because then I could have put the night vision on. Or I could have got an Aussie Owl. Aussie Owl would have helped. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Where's it gone? <laughs> it really helps to be doing this sort of stuff at, in the daylight. Where the heck did it go? This is the downside, like, of being, I mean, getting around, you know, on a, on a fly, it makes life easier, but... Yeah, with all these, all these trees, it's not helping. Ah, there it is there. You're not the one, you're on level, you're only level, nine, right, what, you're only level 100, where's the other one? Right, tell you what, what time is it? It's late at night, so I think I'm going to make my life easier. I've got a rough idea where that is. That I'm going to go and wait for the next day when I can see better. But I'm also going to bring... Yeah, I need to get some carrots for one thing. Because that's how you need to tame these things. So yeah, let's do that. I mean... Um... That wasn't the plan. Um... I'm, I'm seriously tempted to go and check out that new dino, I must admit. It's got an interesting taming mechanic. I mean, it sounds... It sounds like something you you could really really want in your Oh wow, I mean I don't know if you could use that in end boss fights or anything though. A lot of the sort like the dinos you get yeah they, they tend to be um more for like PvP but anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's keep let's keep the keep the disc going with the equus. That's the that's what we're really looking for. Aha! Finally found it. Definitely useful having Aussie around. Especially in amongst all of these trees. It's like really struggling to find this thing. But it's over there. So let's see if I can remember how we do this. Because yeah, it's, it's a long time since I've tried this. I must have been. Right, well, pop Ozzy um, into a cryopod. Come on. Come on, jump in. Right, we'll see... See if I can remember how you do this again. Oh no, it ran away. What did you run away for? You were supposed to let me ride you. Silly horse. Now it's going to go running here, there and everywhere. Nope. Let's try that one. I think that one over there was a was a one thirty. As far as I remember, you you give them a rock carrot and then you should be able to ride them, but you've got to be really quick. So I think I think she's a level one thirty. Ah! Oh, wasn't quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> See that other one over there has calmed down. Oh jeez Louise. It's a, it's a really interesting mechanic, I must admit. And you've got to, you know normally it's like there's, there's a there is a knack to it, you've got to time it basically. So normally you can tell what it in the in the bottom right hand corner it'll say, oh you need to give it a carrot or something. But it, maybe it's because my taming settings are just so so high. When it's not practical or something, I don't know. Right. Have you calmed down? Certainly hope so. Right, there you go. So I've got to keep an eye on when it says it needs another carrot. Yeah, yeah, you just keep running around. Could have done with a rodeo clown. <laughs> oh, you liked that, did you?
Do not run off the edge. That's not a good idea. Nearly. We're nearly there. So it looked like I had to give it a carrot, then ride it, and then give it a carrot almost immediately. There you go. There you go. Right, so let's have a look at your stats. So you're an you're an R Equus. So hold on a tick. Level 209. Yeah, that could be about right actually. So what do I want to do then? Yeah, you can get information from them, I must admit, just using HLNA. That's one way of finding out. Or you could, with a scanner, if I'd been back at base, or if I had a lot more of the actual um, uh, power generators and so on, I, I would have been able to get its stats from there. But let's pop you into a cryopod, and then we'll go in search of more of them. So that one was, there was a 130 floating around. I mean, normally our targets are like 120 upwards because, I don't know, I mean, just occasionally a 150's got good stats, but most of the time it's it's the other ones. And there's also the, 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 the fact that I'll get um, different colours because there's some, some really good colours in these variants that you find. Right, so where was a 130 nearby? That must have been that one. Probably that one. So there's two of them actually nearby. So about 4787. So that must be down here somewhere. I mean, this is not a bad area because there's not really much around here to cause any, any hassle. Like on other maps, I mean... I know, like you could, uh, especially like uh, Ragnarok, I think it was, where you could try and tame an Equus. Next thing you know, you're running into a Roman Giga. Well, that's an interesting looking uh, Orbis over there. Again, getting distracted, getting distracted by the, the shiny lights. Right, uh, where was it again? Forty-seven, eighty-seven. It's headed down in this direction somewhere. It's a bit weird running around. I'm not used to sort of like flying around. It's out here somewhere. <laughs> I'm just thinking something might suddenly like jump out and gank me. Although it does seem, I must admit, it does seem pretty quiet. Oh. That's one thing I've noticed. There's a heck of a lot of May wings on this map, mind. Oh, don't tell me. Did it jump over the edge? Let's have a look. 4687. Actually, I keep forgetting. Yeah, that's an exosuit I've got. <laughs> Somewhere around here. Uh, nope, you're a Gallimimus. I do wonder if it actually jumped off the edge, you know. Let's get Ozzy. We'll get Ozzy the owl out. Keep 
pick these up. Why oh, you can't pick things? I forgot the elves don't pick things up. Uba. Hey, let's get your wonderful vision. Let's see what we can see with you. Uh, nope, you're on moss chops. Uh, nope, you're not a horse either. Another scan then and see because it seems to be moving around quite a lot. Forty six eighty six. So we are at so it's further west. Uh, dude, your, your hat's getting in the way. Hello. Slightly south. Where on earth has this thing gone? Oh, there it is. There it is. Wait, let's just double check. That's. Yeah, that's the one we were trying before. Right, so pop you back into a cryopod then. I wonder if I got that XP because I tamed an Equus. Because hmm. I've noticed the first time you make something, you get an XP, like buff. And I wonder if you're getting a buff every time you tame something for the first time. There you go. Yeah, you've just got to be really, really quick. Once it's once it's riding around, you're fine, unless, you, as I say, like you run into a giga. <laughs> then it can go pear shape. You just keep running around, wear yourself out. Oh, you're taking your time, man. I'm just keeping my eye on the actual effect of this. Uh, I'm not paying any attention to where this thing's going. <laughs> oh, come on. 98%. Seriously? Yeah, so it does seem to be easy to tame them on this map anyway. Just because of the location that they're in. Oh, I haven't said that. There might be some you know, other, other places there are where they are pretty... Uh, Nasty dinos chasing them. Wow, this one's determined. There you go. So that was 130, so that got up to 181. Right. Pop you into a cryopod. Then it's just a case of really going around and hunting down the rest of them. Right, I, I just couldn't resist. Jeez Louise. This thing. Um... Yeah, that's uh, that's looking pretty brutal. It's the only one on the map. And it's... Um... And I'm, I'm staying well out of this. It's a case of I might do some dumb mistake and like fall off or something and get eaten. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a pretty big beastie, I must admit. Hmm. An interesting taming mechanic, I'll say that. Anyway, I need to get back to taming Equus, so I'm gonna make my life easy because I'm running out of cryopods. Right, plunk you down. We'll put you into a cryopod. Yep, but now is not the time to be, like, doing whatever you're doing. And we'll use 
use a teleporter. There you go. That was quick. Right. We'll put these two into a rail bridge. I'll have to go and make myself some more cryopods and then find myself some more equus. Well, I finally managed to get quite a lot of these equus. And uh, yeah, a bit of a mixed bag, I must admit. I mean, we've got this one, which is the lowest level, all the way up to this one, which was a 150. Now, I must admit, this, this one is a real pain uh, to actually try and tame it. I mean, it kept getting spooked. Uh, so it probably would have been better if I had a ghillie armor, for instance, uh, to help me with that. And of course, part of the problem is during the taming process, if, if things get messed up, it, it affects the, uh, the taming effectiveness. So I ended up basically catching it with a, one of those net projectiles so I could knock it out. So that was a pretty easy process. Because the idea is, once you knock it out, you can leave it, and then when it wakes back up, it resets that taming effectiveness. Because otherwise, what you'll find is that you'll go back and you'll be able to probably either give it a carrot or get straight back on, and it's just all messed up. So you've got to basically reset the whole thing by knocking it out. So yeah, now now you've got that net projectile, it does make the whole process a bit easier. But yeah, that, that took me forever and indeed I saw I catch this one. I mean, as it turns out. It, it has got the best melee. I mean, I'd say most of the time, the, like the level 150s don't really do that much. I mean, the, I don't really usually get high levels, but you know, sometimes I, I do, so it's still worth while getting those. Now, <laughs> that that one was a real pain to catch. It was a bit like this one, because these two were in the same area, uh, right up in the northeast, I think it was, and it was, those annoying little uh, micro raptors. Now, when I was trying to catch that one, I got knocked off a lot of times by different uh, micro raptors. And one thing I did find at least was that if I got knocked off the horse while I was taming it, it didn't affect the taming effectiveness. So that was quite useful. But it's still annoying all the same because obviously it spooks the horse, the horse runs off and you've got to then go and try and chase it. In the meantime, obviously you're having to deal with a micro raptor that's knocked you out. You're going to wait to me. You you sort of like, uh, wake back up again so you can take care of it. But yeah, I had, this, I had the same problem with both of them, just because there was annoying blowing micro raptors. But eventually, eventually I managed to catch them, so that was useful. So, like I say, a bit of a mixed bag. I mean, especially in terms of the colours, I must admit. It's so, it's quite a lot of different colours I'm finding here. So as far as when it comes to the actual taming. Uh, or rather the breeding, I mean, we'll be keeping that one because he's got the highest melee, 361. Uh, sh yeah, she's got the highest weight level of 588. He's got the highest stamina, which was 2576. And she's got the highest health, so it just shows you it's, it's, it is worthwhile getting, you know, a mixture of the levels. So, I mean, That'll have probably been like a 130, I think. Because that's what I was doing, I was catching 130s. That one, it must have lost taming effectiveness. I probably didn't notice, so I should have really reset it, but... Well, that one hasn't done bad, so I mean, that one could have, you know, been better, really. But as far as I'm aware, if you do breed them, I think you might actually get that back. So I'm, I'm actually quite tempted to keep that um, for a while, just out of curiosity to see, see what we get. Uh, but yeah, we'll be keeping that one for its health at least. But that was, the, you know, a low level of 130 and it's come out with a better health. That one's only a slightly higher level and it's got the better weight. And that one, same, except a higher stamina. So yeah, a bit of a, bit of a mixed bag overall. So I've got all of these and I'm going to have to start breeding them basically so I can get all of those stats into a breeding pair. And then I can get at least one actual equus that I can use to try and deal with these two missions. The, the ones where we've got to go out and do bulldog fetch and uh, maywing poach. Now, I'm tempted to keep trying that every now and again because as far as I'm aware, I think you've got a chance to get equus saddles in there. 
Um, I have run that one, and I, I got a gas bags one, so it wasn't particularly impressive, but that's something I'm going to need. I mean, I need a decent Equus that's got full imprints, um, and it's got all the best of these stats, but I'm going to have to then level it up, probably put as much as I can into, into melee so I can do more damage and knock things out quicker, because that seemed to be the bigger problem. But it needs to be able to take quite a, a lot of hits from all of those uh, dinos that are going to be out there. I mean, I know there was Thylacolios, for instance. So I, I really could do with a good saddle. So I'm going to have to try and see if I can find where I can get one of those from. But at least we've got a good mixture. So still plenty to do. And that's all for another episode.